In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Python Idle on Mac OS X in both the interactive mode and to write and save programs to disk that can then be run. First, we need to find and launch Python Idle. Select the finder on the dock. In the finder, select Applications, and then locate the Python 3.4 folder. Open the folder, and the first icon in the folder is Idle. To launch Idle, we can double-click the icon here. But because I will be using Idle frequently, I'd like to add it to my dock to make it easily accessible. So I'm going to drag the idle icon to the dock and from there I can launch idle anytime I want to. When I launch idle, the Python shell appears. This is a place where I can enter Python code in interactive mode. I can enter lines of Python code and they will immediately be interpreted and if there are displayed results, those results will be displayed. A typical first program is called the Hello World program. We can write it by using the print command in Python, and print receives uh, parameters in parentheses, and we're going to give it the string Hello World exclamation point, close parentheses. So we have the print command, Parentheses, which indicate we're going to give it a parameter, and the parameter we're giving it is the hello world exclamation point string. When I hit enter, hello world is displayed. So that means Python interpreted that line of code, did what it said it is to do, which is print hello world and displayed hello world. This is the interactive mode. I can continue to type lines of code, and those lines of code will be interpreted and executed here in the uh, shell. So for example, if I type the name of my dog, name equals Lilu, I can then print in parentheses, my dog is named, and then give it the variable name. And when I execute this, it displays my dog is named Lilu. The interactive mode is very useful for testing lines of code. It's a great place to learn how Python statements execute. But if we want to write, write programs that we want to save and execute any time, we're going to have to write those lines of code in a file and save the file and then be able to execute the lines of code in that file. To do that, go to File, New File, and this presents us with a place where we can enter lines of code. Before I even begin typing any lines of code, I'm going to save this file. So I'm going to say File, Save As, and now I need a place to save it. And what I'm going to do is create a folder inside my documents where I'm going to store my Python projects. So I'm going to call it Python Projects. And inside that folder, because I'm going to have different projects and I'm going to use folders to separate them, I'm going to create a folder for my first project called Hello World. So I'll create a new folder called Hello World. So I have in Documents the Python Projects folder, and inside of that we have the Hello, Wo Hello World folder. So now I'm ready to name this Python programming file, this Python code file, currently is untitled.py. py is the extension that goes on Python code files. And I'm gonna call my program hello world. So I'll hit save, that should go inside the hello world directory. And now I'm ready to enter my lines of code. So here I'm gonna type print hello world exclamation point inside uh, the parentheses, and I'm going to say save, so it'll update the file, hello world.py. And now when I want to run this program, I can go up to run and say run module, and it'll flip over to the Python shell, 
and it will actually run the lines of code that are in the file. So if I wanted to add additional lines, I can. I can say hello world on that first line and on the next line I'm gonna print, this is my very first Python program, period. Close quote, close parentheses. So notice print takes a parameter and in this case we said hello world in the first one and in the second one the parameter is a string that says this is my very first Python program. When this program is executed it's going to display hello world and then it's going to display this is my very first Python program. So I'm going to first save this. It will save to hello world pi and then I can go to run and say run module and it displays hello world and this is my very first Python program. So here we have created our first Python program that has been saved to file and can be executed anytime we want to. I'm going to close it and I'm actually going to close idle and then I'm going to launch idle again and I'm going to say file open. I'm going to go to my Python projects to hello world to hello world.py say open. It displays it and I can go to run and say run module and just like before it will run the program. If we make mistakes in our program errors will be displayed. And so let's say I forget to close the parentheses on my print statement. So I'm going to remove that close parentheses, save my program, run it again, and it said unexpected end of file while parsing. It's indicating that there is a problem here. It didn't expect to find the end of the file. Uh, something is missing. And we have this red line here to indicate that. So I'm going to close my parentheses. And now if I save this and run it again, it runs OK. Let's say I forget to have a closing quote on my string. So I'm going to save my program again. And I'm going to run it. And it says end of line while scanning literal string or string literal. So it didn't expect that. And it's indicating there's a problem on this line. And if I fix that problem, um, then it should run OK again. Let's say I just put some garbage here, something very unexpected. So I'm going to save that, run it, and now this time it will display an error message in the shell. And it says that in my hello world program on line two, this RFTERWT was found and that thing is not defined and it doesn't know what to do with it. And if we look here, this is line one, this is line two. So on line two um, is where our problem is. We don't want that. I can delete it. I can save my program again and I can run it and it runs just fine. So now that I have the program in documents in my Python projects folder, and remember in hello world is where we find hello world.py, I have the folder that holds the code for my program. And this first program only has one Python file. Later in the semester, we'll be dealing with programs that have multiple Python files. But this folder contains all the code for my application. This is what I will want to turn in for my assignment if I'm given an assignment. So the way that I save this so it can be submitted online is to convert and convert it to a zip file or to compress it as a zip file. So in OS 10, I can, if I have a mouse with the right button, right click on it, or I can hold the control key down and click on it. In either case, whether it's a right click or a control and a click, I get this contextual menu where I can select compress hello world and that generates an hello world zip and this 
is what I am to turn in for my assignment.